Okay, good morning. So our topic for today will be the K-12 curriculum of the mathematics in the K-12. And we will also talk about the, uh, the DOST and the Science Education Institute framework for mathematics teachers. So the first thing that we need to talk about is the, the framework of the mathematics education. Can you see the screen? Okay. So we have twin goals in mathematics education. One is critical thinking and the other one is problem solving. So all the things that we do in the teaching of mathematics must dwell with critical thinking and problem solving. So dapat na to develop ang critical thinking and problem solving sa mga students. Kana gina tong main purpose. So how do we do that? We are given here five theories. The first theory that you can see on the screen is constructivism. This one, constructivism. Constructivism is letting the students or learners learn on their own. No, they construct their own learning. They are the ones learning. It's not the teacher who will learn, but the students. The second is reflective learning. We need to uh, ask them to reflect on the things that we are teaching. For example, we are teaching fractions. Why is there a need to know one half plus one fourth? Tinanglan bagay mga may balan na? Di ba wabuhi man tang wala takabalo sa one half plus one fourth? Something like that. Ano ka ha? And then the next is experiential and situated learning. So we need to have hands-on activities for them. No hands-on. And then discovery and inquiry base. So mathematics learning also need to dwell with innovations and inventions also. There should be discovery. No? And we, we also have cooperative learning. They need to work by group if necessary. In order to have this one, we have here some guiding, uh, some guide. No, the first is for the content. So the content we have five strands in mathematics education. One is number and number sense. Second, measurement. Third, geometry. Fourth, patterns and algebra. And fifth, statistics and probability. So these are the, the main concepts that we are teaching the students. And then, for the skills and processes, here are the things that we need to teach them. Knowing and understanding. Estimating, computing, and solving. Visualizing and modeling. Representing and communicating. Conjecturing, reasoning, pro proving and decision-making, and then applying and connecting. There are also values that we need to teach them. One is accuracy, creativity, objectivity, perseverance, and productivity. What are the tools that we can use? We could make use of manipulative objects. So we can give manipulative tools, devices, calculators and computers, smartphones and tablet PCs, and then internet. The them, I know they have their own beliefs. A different learning environment, the language barrier, the culture, the learner's prior knowledge and their experiences. So we need to consider this in making our lessons. So the curriculum really is encapsulated by this framework. Okay. So here is the discussion. So I think you can just uh, read the discussion later. So here are the theories. And then, okay. So I will discuss the different uh, concepts that we need to know. The contents of the mathematics include number and number sense, measurement, geometry, patterns and algebra, and statistics and probability. So for numbers and number sense, it must include the concept of numbers, properties, operations, estimation, and their applications. Measurement as a strand is more on teaching the length, mass, weight, capacity, time, money, temperature, including perimeter, area, surface area, volume, and angle. 
Geometry includes figures and their relationships. Reasoning, geometric modeling, and proof. Patterns of algebra include patterns, relationship changes among shapes and quantities. Statistics and probability includes uh, collecting and organizing data using charts, tables, and graphs, understanding and analyzing and interpreting data, dealing with uncertainty, and making predictions. So I will not discuss the K3, grade 4 to 6, 7. Uh, I will be discussing the grade 7 to 10. So this is the K stage that you need to know. At the end of grade 10, the learner must demonstrate understanding and key appreciation. Okay. At the, aid of, at the end of grade 10, the learner demonstrates understanding and appreciation of key concepts and skills involving numbers and number sense. So the topic will be sets and real numbers, measurement, conversion of units, patterns and algebra from linear equations and inequalities in one and two variables, linear functions, system of linear equations and inequalities in two variables, Exponents and radicals, quadratic equations, inequalities, functions, polynomials, and polynomial equations and functions. In geometry, we'll be dealing with polygons, ax axiomatic structure of geometry, triangle congruence, inequality, and similarity, and basic trigonometry. In statistics and probability, we will discuss measures of central tendency, variability, and position, combinatorics, and probability. So, and then we will be applying it using appropriate technology to develop critical thinking, problem solving, communicating, reasoning, making connections, representations, and decisions in real life. Okay, so these are the, the topics, the grade level standards for grade 7 to 10. So, you can just read it uh, alone at, at home later. Now I'll be discussing this one. I'll just be going to grade seven so that it will be more practical at the grade one. Let's go to the grade seven. And this is grade four. Uh, I know you were able to familiarize this because you had this in your previous subjects, but I'll just emphasize the curriculum guide. Okay, we are now in grade six, where's grade seven? Ah, grade seven. So the, in the curriculum guide, the grade seven topics were divided into four, the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. In each quarter, we look into the strands. So in the first quarter, we have a strand for numbers and number sense. We also have a strand for, in the second quarter, it's on measurement. On the third, uh, and also patterns and algebra. So that's for the second quarter. For the third quarter, we have geometry. And then for the fourth quarter, I think that's the statistics and probability. So the lessons in mathematics by quarter are based on the different strands. And then on the different strands, you can see content standards. When we say content standards, these are the content the general content that a learner must know. So this is the what to know. So here, the students must be able to demonstrate understanding of the key concepts of sets and the real number system. So this is what to know. So kani ang dapat matunan sa bata. And then what to do, that is the performance standards. So when you say performance standards, that is what to do. The learner is able to formulate challenging situations involving sets and real numbers and solve this in a variety of strategies. So, dapat kabalo sila ani, no? So, mabunay yung ipabuhat, mag-formulate sila ang challenging situations. But looking into the lesson plans that, you, uh, but, that some are doing, hindi nila kakaigo ni siya ang performance standards, only the content standards. And then, in order to 
fulfill the content and performance standards, we have here learning competencies. Common competency or learning objectives or learning targets. One is to describe well-defined sets, subsets, and so on. And then you will be given the learning materials na ko ay kanang iya ang pwede ni mo kuaan sa concepts. By the way, kaning code na ano siya meaning ha? So the one here is topic one, no? For the ko ay this is first quarter kasi sa first quarter A, no? That the full discussion of the code is given also in this one. Na adin is sa pinakalas ng part, atong karam sa pinakalas. Na na sa pinakalas ang discussion sa code. Okay, nara. Katong code sample. If the code is M seven A L dash two G two, meaning ang M seven is mathematics grade seven. Na yung pasabot. Ang A L it implies patterns and algebra. Kana patterns and algebra na siya. And then kaning two, this is second quarter. Kaning G is week, week seven, because G is number seven. A B C D E F G. Ang G ang number seven, so that's week seven. And then two is the second competency, solves problem involving algebraic expressions. So if you say NS, that's number sense. If that's GE, that's geometry. If AL, that's patterns and algebra. If ME, that's measurement. SF, that's statistics and probability. So you need to have that because that is what we need to know about. Ah, by the way, we have here the glossary. So if you think that Dili kaya klaro ang meaning sa mga terms na adin eh. Like, what is accuracy, what is applying, communicating, and so on. Okay, so I'll go back with you so that we can discuss that one.